Okay, welcome to the class. Uh, we'll be talking about Google Drive and its usage and just beyond saving documents. And so far so good, it's uh, going to be an evening that is going to be like an eye opener for everybody and you'll be able to do so much more with your Google Drive. Let's go to the screen. So, uh, like I said, Google Drive is found on all Gmail accounts. So you need to have a Gmail account. So once you go to your screen, make sure you use a laptop. If you don't have a laptop, go to a cafe. Within a week, you should be able to be so proficient enough that you can always walk in, do what you want to do and go back and continue with your phone. If there's no need for you to use your phone. So if you click here on your Gmail, this button, these nine buttons, top right-hand side of your Gmail, you will see the Google Drive sign, click on it. And once you click on it, it will open your Google Drive for you. Now, um, this is my Google Drive. I do a lot of things here, but I want to go straight to some things and show you what you need to know. Now, let's start with one. You can actually upload a folder. I mean, create a folder where you can keep all your things. Well, that is a minor thing that anybody can understand. You can upload a file, like a document or PDF, which we've been doing all the time, then um, upload a folder. Now, you can also use your Google Doc, which is just like Microsoft Word. And in your Google Doc, you have templates that can be so useful to you. Lots of time I hear people say, I want to know how to do a CV, I, whatever. Just come to your Google Doc. You don't need to express anybody. It's on your phone, it's on your Gmail. Just go there and search for CVs, template of CVs. Let me open others. Then we also have your Google Sheets, which is like Excel. The same thing as Excel. The why Google Doc is opening to look at our Excel sheet. Then uh, the other one we have here is uh, Google Forms. This is where we're going to spend more time here, Google Forms. So we'll start with Google Quiz. But while that is opening, let me show you something. Now, this is a Google Doc. Yeah, Google Doc. You can see all manner of documents here. These are templates, project proposals, meeting notes, meeting notes, project proposals, meeting notes, onboarding notes, brochures, newsletters, mutual NDA, newsletters, business process manual, consulting agreement, training proposal, and all that. So many templates for you, even up to your CV and all that. So you can see that you have so much here to, to, to do. So when you need informal letter, business letter, you don't need to ask anybody how to write. Just come to your Google Drive. It's as simple as ABC. You have it there already waiting for you. Uh, next, we'll be looking at um, Google Form. OK. This is Google Sheets. And these are the templates you have here. You can actually click on any of these templates and uh, customize it to what you want to do. And another excellent thing is that you can include somebody in your Google Form uh, your Google Drive through the person's email, just add the person's email, and the person can co-work with you on your Google Drive, which means that you can have as many people as possible working on a single document with you, real time, the same time. One is in Canada, one is in Jamaica, one is in UK, and they all have access to that same document through their emails on that Google Drive. As Mr. A in Canada is touching one figure, Mr. B in, 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 in uh, whatever, Japan is working on the next page, and everybody, five people from five different countries working on a single document. That is the excellence and the wonders of Google Drive. So it's beyond just saving documents. You can now see for yourself. So, but if you come here to Google Sheets, there are so many templates, employees uh, sheet schedule, customer relation management, website paid traffic report, expense report, annual budget report, weekly timesheets, invoices, all these are templates you can edit for yourself, put your company name and use it for yourself. You can see so many. You also have a um, project timeline, project tracking, event marketing timeline, city bank analysis, bike analysis, and so many other things, even calendars and monthly reports, webinars, wedding planner. If you want to plan your wedding, team roster, travel planner, and all that. Just take your time and come here and you'll be like, wow, wow. Okay, that is that for Google Sheets. The next one that we are coming to look at is Google Form. 
Now, Google Form can do a lot of things for you. And this is where I want us to dwell. You will go back to those other documents. You will need them once in a while. Take, for instance, uh, this one. Google Slides. Google Slides is the same thing as, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, PowerPoint. Yeah, the same thing as PowerPoint. So if you can use PowerPoint, then you can do this. Now, what Google Slides does for you is that it has a lot of templates you can use. Like if you want to do a prototype presentation and you don't know how to start, just come here and click one and use it and edit it to what you want to do. Yeah, you can also do your certificates here, design your certificates. But I'll show you where you can actually do your very beautiful certificates and the flyers and logos and all that. Okay, before I continue, uh, let me be sure. If you can hear me and if you can see the screen, please just type yes. I want to be sure I'm carrying everybody along. Just type yes if you can hear me and see the screen. Okay, fine. So put that fine. So let's advance. Okay, now uh, on Google on Google uh, slide, you have a lot of templates here that you can use, customize, and do what you want to do. So next time you're looking for a template to use, uh, lesson planner, book report, field trip, all that you want to put pictures, even your menu, recipe showcase for restaurant, all those things, just come here. Don't stress yourself. Don't keep calling people and say, how do I do this? Just go straight and do it yourself. And people will say, oh, wow, Mr. John, you are so industrial, so resourceful. Look at what you've done. Yeah, you know where to get the answers. Okay, let's go straight to the main thing now. Before I go ahead, let me come back to the class and let me see if you have any question, then we can go ahead. Yeah, any question, please? Mr. Olusegu, I want to believe this hand was raised last time, so we can bring it down. The same thing with, um, so any question, please? Ari Boko, are you following? If you have any question, yes. Engineer Oseni, yes. Go ahead with your question. We will make everything brief because we need to do a lot of practicals as much as possible. Yeah, I'm with you. Engineer Oseni. Are you with us? Okay, we can't hear Engineer Oseni. Ishaya Guba. Are you hearing me? Okay, I can hear you now. I wanted to give uh -huh. you I said, yes. my question is if we are working with any of these Google platforms, yes. does it have any relationship with our the, the space we have on Google Drive or not? If you have what? The space we have on Google Drive, I understand yes. there's free one, there's, you need to buy additional ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we are working with many of the platform, does it have any relationship with the space that we have? Yes, of course. If you are using any of the platforms, there are documents, your space will be eating up. Like if you're using a free free uh, Gmail, I've forgotten how many, I think it's about three point something gig or so they give you for free. But if you, are, if you are paying, like the one I'm using, I paid for, which means that I have, I can also have a domain name if I want to, <clears throat> but like a dot, dot net, dot com, which means that you can have engineers or Maybe info, your email will be info at engineer dot com so it means you already have a domain name with google and uh, a, 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 what's it called an official email with google a personalized email with google so when you have that kind of email they give you up to 15 gig yeah okay so you have up to 15 gigs that you can use Eugenia, have i answered your question yes okay thank you so the other plot the other uh, plans you can buy that are even higher than that. I posted it in the class, so you can go back and read after this. Yes, is it is it that we are we are to download them all or they're in no no you don't need to download all little. Like I told you, Omoefe Gloria. Once you go to your Google Drive using your laptop, once you go to your Google Drive, everything is there. You don't need to download. In fact, as you are working, it is saving on its own. You can have 20 people in 20 different countries on that same document working with you at the same time. So it means you can have your staff working with you at the same time. Nobody will say, oh, guy is not seeing me. 
and while he's in the canteen eating, we tell him he's in the office working. No, because he's working on the document that you are seeing. <laughs> it's as good as that. Okay. Uh, I think I've answered your question, Omoefe. Uh, bless you, Uwadin. I don't, okay. Let's make it snappy. Yeah, bless you, Uwadin. Yeah, Otas, good evening. Good evening. I, I discovered that I'm using my laptop. I'm on my phone too. Um, I check the Google Sheets, Google Forms. There are no templates. Okay. When I look at what you're doing, I can see the templates display from your own end. But on my own end, I'm just checking. I've um, clicked Google Sheets, no templates. Google okay. Forms, no templates. No problem. No problem. I, I think I understand what you're saying. Probably you did not click the button with templates. Let, let's go back to the. I'll just run through that part again. Then we'll go, we'll go ahead so that we can achieve so much. But before we go, let me just complete uh, this with uh, uh, Mr. Dr. Oladele. You know, doctors don't like people calling them Mr. <laughs> okay. Uh, Dr. Oladele, we are with you. Yeah. Thank you very much. I just opened, I'm using my laptop okay. as well as um, my phone. There's Google Drive on my phone. Okay. So I opened it and I found quite a number of documents, like books that I've saved before. Yeah. So what do I do to those ones? They're already saved automatically into my Google Drive. It's not a blank sheet. So yeah. how do I, what do I do with them? No, they are there. It doesn't, see, those other documents I'm showing you, they are templates or, or blank templates you can use to work. It does, it does okay. nothing to do with your document that were there already or that you are uploading there. Okay, my problem is how do I access the blank templates? Okay, I will still run. What do I need to press? I will still run. Okay, okay. I will still run. I Thank actually, you. I'm fine. I actually Sorry know. about that. No problem. So yeah. please, let's pay attention because I did all this earlier on so, so that we don't uh, spend too much time on a particular point. Okay, let's go ahead now. Mm. I will go back to what we did before. I told you when you open your laptop, this is your laptop, so um, uh, Gmail account. If you look to your right, you see your buttons, just click on those buttons and go to the Google Drive. It will open. Now, when you open your Google Drive, you will see this button, new. New means that you want to start a new job. If you already have documents here, this is what you'll be finding. If you click here on your laptop, some things will drop down now. We have some drop down, you see? We have documents, spreadsheet, presentation forms, folders, PDF, videos. These are, if I have videos, instead of looking for videos, I click on videos, all the videos will come up. If I have forms, instead of clicking on my form or searching, I'll just click on this. Or you just type what you need and it will come up. Fine. And if, for instance, you have a particular item you are looking for. I don't know whether it was on Google Sheet or Google Form. Just type the item here and it will come out. So let me go back to where we started from. Once you open your Google, your Google Form, your Google Drive, if you come here, you see this button, click on this button. You have a drop down. Now you are going to create, you want to create a new document or a new slide like the PowerPoint, or you want to create a new sheet like an Excel sheet, because as you are creating it, it's real time. And one other thing you need to understand is that whatever you do here, you don't need to carry your laptop. Once you get to Jamaica, just walk into a cafe or just get a laptop, put your internet, log into your email, then you continue from where you stopped in Nigeria. You don't need to even carry anything from Nigeria. That is how good this thing is. So for, for you, the person that asked about templates, this is Google Doc. Probably you are clicking on this one. If you come down, click here, you will find a lot of templates. I hope you understand what I'm saying now. If you are using Google, Google yeah. Sheets, if you click here, the same blank sheet. If you click here, you're going to find templates. The same thing with this. I know one, one big issue we have, it happens to me too, I understand. Most times we don't take our time to read instructions before taking action. We take action, then start looking for, for the instruction. And by then we are already disoriented and I mean, the, uh, very unhappy, very disorganized, and becomes a problem. But if we take our time slowly to look at the next instruction, you can go ahead. In fact, if you if you are someone that always wait for 
the internet. When you're on any internet page, you wait to read the next thing to do. You will discover that you will be moving without anybody teaching you. For instance, if I put my button here, you see support. Here we see settings. Here we see apps. So by just putting my buttons here, I already know what all those places contain. So I know what I'm looking for. So the same thing with this uh, Google Forms that we already created. If you want to, a blank Google Form is there. If you want a quiz, if you want a template, it's there. So fine. I think we can continue now. Yeah. Okay. Now this is our Google Form because I want us to do learn something special. Uh, the other ones, you can just read them up and follow it and just do what you want to do. But this part, most of the things here I'm going to teach you, you can never watch a video and find it online. I can bet you that one. So please just take your time, watch what I'm teaching you and practice it. If as we are going, we are timed out, please don't, don't, don't be worried. Once we are timed out, just click on the same link to come back immediately. I will give you like five minutes or 10 minutes so that the video can record and I can save it. Then we'll come back. Yeah. Now, this is a Google form. I need to come back and understand the form I created. So I'll just say, uh, which class will I put? Google Drive class. Master class. Yeah, class, okay. Now, um, I am the only one that will see this, like here. Let me go to my drive. If I click on my drive, you see all my documents will come out. You see the names, the way I name them and all that, you see? Okay, the same thing will happen. If I click on my drive, it's very likely you will see this when I save it, when I finish my work. Okay, we want to create a classroom document for our students. I want our students to write the test. It's very simple. Before we do that, here is for you to just choose, make your work very fine. So maybe we can just choose a school, work and school. So we can just come here and put something like pencils for our school, then insert it. Yeah. Somebody says she can't hear me or he can't hear me. Can you hear me? Just say yes. If you can hear me, everybody say yes. If you can hear me, please. I want to be sure that he's the only one. Who can hear me? Just type yes, please. No, excellent. So um, um, please, if you can't hear me, work on your audio. Very, very important. Okay. So I've changed this. I just came here and click on this and selected a template I want and put it there. So I've selected this and then inserted, and that's all. You can actually use your own. You can save it on your desktop. Come here and they say add image. Just come here, go to upload, and that's all. To come here and stay. Maybe your school logo or your whatever. Don't forget that you can also be a private teacher on your own. You can use this. Now, this is it. Oh, sorry, I I didn't spell this properly. Okay. Yeah, Google. Doesn't really matter anyway. So we've gotten our classroom templates ready. Our students need to take their exams. First of all, you can put your instructions here. All, oh, okay, we have just about 10 minutes. All questions are mandatory, okay? So you can add other things like email or whatever. We want to go to settings. Since this is a quiz, we'll make this a quiz. Make this a quiz, right? We want the students to get their, the answers immediately they score. Then for me, this is what I do. You can come and this, you can come and explore all this later. And they can see their points. Each question is um, we're using five questions. So each question will be 20 marks. Then um, responses. We want everybody to respond. They can respond as many times as possible, but you can make it once, so they can respond more than once. Yeah, and then collect email. There's no need for that, but if you collect email, well, they can get a response in their email. You can add that. But the most important thing is what we've just done now. Now we'll go back to this place. 
You know, we talked about Google Sheets initially. This is Google Sheet. Wow. This maybe the messaging should stop so that I can concentrate. I thought something was wrong. If you can't hear me, please work on your audio. It's not from our end. So you have to click on this. You can see this is your Google Sheet and create. This I'm just doing the introductory introductory part to this program. If you want an in-depth one, maybe you just need to pass this stage and we can come to that stage later. That is what we call remaster class, where you you get very confused while you are working until you get yourself sorted out. So mm -hmm. Okay, but it's good to start this way so that uh, you can build from here. So we've gotten our form ready. Now we want to set up something. If you come here, you see this is called add section. If you want to add a section up under, you put your mouse here, your cursor here. I click on add section so that it can be under this. Then we say, okay, personal details. Okay. Then next, you say question. Okay, we already have question on that, so we don't need it. But if you want to add, you can use this. Now, this is our question. You can say, what is the capital of. Uh, Nigeria. Okay, Kano, just say Kano Meduguri um, Lokoja Lokoja uh, Kaba. Okay. Remember, your students must select one that is correct. And mm -hmm. you click here. You make the point 20, please, because we are only doing five questions. So you click here and this is it. Okay, somebody just raised a question. Okay, now. Now, we also want to select the correct answer. The correct answer is Kano, and you click done. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think I need to move this because that sound is, uh, we need to move this. Okay. So, Kano is the correct answer. So we can duplicate this question and continue. Then you can also make it mandatory because you've told them that every question is mandatory. Make sure you make it mandatory here. If you click on these three buttons, you see description. You can say, on that description, you can just say, okay, be specific about the town or blah, blah, blah. It's really, this is very important when you are giving specific instruction on answering this question so that it doesn't affect the main question itself. It should be under here. Then go to section based on it's another section that, for instance, you say, okay, I want to answer this, or I don't want to answer this, to take you to where you want to answer. But let's not go there because I don't want to um, overcomplicate the issue. Then you can shuffle the order. If, for instance, you have 20 students in the class and you don't want them to copy from each other, if you click on this, it will shuffle the question. So this person's number one will be the other person's number 10. Then, like I said, let's just go simple first. So let's click on the second question. It's um, what? is the capital capital of Nigeria. Uh, say Abuja was a question. Please, if you can't hear me, fix your audio. Ask somebody close by to fix your audio for you. I'm sure this is not the first time you'll be having issue with audio. So the next time you are coming to watch the Zoom session, please. Take a day or two to sort all these things out and do a practice session. That's what I do. Check your audio down to your left hand side if you, are, if you are using your phone. Just click on that head sign. Okay, uh, Lagos. Um, Benin. Then let's say cover. Okay. So Abuja is the correct answer. So we can just change this to be. Uh, Abuja, so Abuja will be C. Go to the next one. Uh, how many months do we have in a year? Sorry, I'm not putting the question mark sign, but we all understand. So always use the, the correct answer should be on the one you've ticked. Then you just say uh, 12. This is uh, maybe 
to 11 months, 24 months, okay? The correct answer is 12. We can make it to be the last option. Then go to this other one and then we say, okay, uh, who is the president of Nigeria? Okay, we just say Buhari. Sorry, we have to use his first name, no time. Say Osi Banjo. Say Atiku. Say and then uh, Tinobu. Jagaban. Okay. <laughs> so we'll come here and maybe we'll put this one, the first one again. The last one, check this button here. You can see that this thing is showing 80 already. It means we have one more to make it a hundred. Then to say, okay. Um, what about that question? Um, how many states do we have and how many countries do we have in Africa? Yeah, so we have 54, we have 20, we have, like I said, once you log out, please click on that same link and come back. And don't be in a hurry because I will need to wait for the former one to save so that you can have a copy before we come back. So we have a hundred questions here. Now I want to add a section which says, thank you for taking this quiz, okay? Now, I've done my quiz. I want to give you a copy to, to watch. You can send it by email and just come here and say by email or send a link, shorten the link and just copy and all that. So these are the two basic ways or just send it by email. Now you can also click on preview and view form and just come here. And if I do that, if I send it to you here, I won't let me send it to everybody. Uh, okay, I'll come to that. I want to click send the link to everybody to answer. And yeah, this is the form. Now, before you fill it, somebody just asked me, how did I click on the link? This is the form. If you want to, oh, sorry, I'm mistaken it for my phone. If you want to click on that link to change the answer, you come here. You can change this answer 54 to this and remove this. So anybody that marks this is correct. But this is the correct answer. I'll put it back here and click done. Always click done. Yeah. Don't worry, you have the recorded version so you can go ahead. So now I want us to see something. Please go, go to your Google Drive on your phone. Just click on that link, sorry. Click on the link I just sent to you. Click on it and answer the question. Yeah, so answering the question. There's something I didn't do anyway. Just hold on. Let's put our name so that as you answer the question, we see your names. We just say the personal details will be here. Uh, full, full names. Okay. Yeah. So here will be start quiz. Okay, so go ahead now. You can start answering the question now. Let's see. Our people have said answering. That's good. 